ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. This morning was just insane. So if you guys do not know, I've been saying this for a long time. I remember a long time ago, somebody sent me a super chat. And they said, you know, T, you're a conspiracy theorist. What's one of the things that scares you, like just with all the conspiracies that, you know, that conspiracy theorists talk about? And I've always told you guys, my biggest fear is the grid going down because we're so reliant on technology, not just for cell phones and stuff like that, but literally everything. Our water systems are ran on the grid, the waste systems. Remember, there was a loser that had, well, uh, hmm. There was a man or a woman, somebody hacked into the into the water system in Florida. And if a vigilant person at the water uh, treatment plant was not paying attention, they literally could have killed the entire city because they had broke. They had hacked into the system and literally turned up the fluoride and other chemicals. You know, what I'm saying in that water plant system. So if they wouldn't have been caught and realized that somebody was hacking into the system, that entire city could have been killed. So it's that serious, you know what I'm saying? So that, like I said, that's always been like one of my biggest fears is the grid going down, um, not just, again, for cell phones, but hospitals, you know what I'm saying? Um, many times I've been in the damn hospital, everything is ran on the electrical system. Yes, they have generators and backups and stuff like that, but that's only gonna last a few days. And it's not just so much somebody hacking into the system, also solar flares, if a solar flare ends up hitting something and it's a big enough, we would be black. We'd be in total darkness. Shout out to everybody on the Discord, damn it. We don't watch so many damn movies and documentaries. Y'all remember I had to find that one documentary. I forgot the name of it. It was about that blackout. Like, we, we dug for like a whole day and we found it on bootleg. Um, Because we couldn't find like the regular link. I was trying to pay for it, but the link wasn't working. But that was a really good documentary about the grid going down. What was it called? It was something blackout. It was something. But it's a really good documentary and basically it takes you through a simulation if the United States just goes black and how long before we just, you know, go into like total chaos and start acting like animals and shit. So it's a lot. It's a lot. So this morning, if you guys do not know, basically what happened is that several of the phone companies, they went down like around three, four o'clock in the morning, which is also known as the witching hour. Everything just went down. A lot of people were, you know, you know, people, you know, we can't sleep nowadays, right? Everybody be on TikTok and Instagram scrolling and shit. And then people was minding their business scrolling and the only thing their phone said was SOS. And Verizon was trending. By the time I woke up and, you know, got a phone call from somebody like, do you see what's going on? I'm like, I literally just woke up. They're like, everything's down. I didn't know if I was even gonna be able to get a hold of you. And so um, it was pretty bad. Some people said it was from like three till six. Other people are still having issues, um, but you couldn't call nobody unless you could get onto some type of Wi-Fi. And it wasn't just the phone service down. If you had internet, because you know some people use internet through Verizon and through AT&T, none of that stuff was working. So all of that was down. And they're saying that it could have been a possible cyber attack. So. Um, this is causing a lot of controversy. I want to find, there was this video I was watching earlier on it. Let me see if it comes up here. Yeah, they're thinking it was a straight up cyber attack. Here goes the video here. So we're going to go ahead and watch this together. Give me just a second. Okay, how do I get back to my other screen? Oh, here we go. Child. <laughs> okay. Just trying to uh, make sure I'm on the right page. Update for you. Some breaking news that we've been following today. Sources tell ABC News the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are investigating the cause of a massive nationwide cell phone outage. Officials are working to determine if the service disruption is the result of a cyber attack, a hack, or simply a technical malfunction. 
AT&T customers are slowly now coming back online after thousands of those cell phones went down earlier this morning. The cellular outage affected phones all across the country with thousands of users reporting issues in cities including New York, Houston, Chicago and San Francisco. AT&T tells ABC News, quote, some of our customers are experiencing wireless service interruptions this morning. Our network teams took immediate action and so far three quarters of our network has been restored. We're working as quickly as possible to restore service to remaining customers. Verizon and T-Mobile said they are not experiencing any service disruptions. Okay, let me come back on the screen. So you guys just heard that. Um, let me keep this all the way real. Now, I feel like this is some type of test run. Okay, not to cause panic or fear, but I do feel like it was a test run. Remember, um, you know, I've done deep dives on predictive programming. Remember a few, what was it, maybe two, three months ago, that movie came out called uh, Leave the World Behind? Remember, everybody was talking about that on Netflix. It was produced by the Obamas. And I didn't like the ending of the movie, but in the scenes, in the movie, remember while they're all out on the beach and there's, you know, that big old shit was coming towards the beach. Um, there are parts of the movie where there was no cell phone service. There was no connection, nothing. And we become so reliant on technology, you know, especially not just for entertainment, but, you know, for connecting with friends and family and things like that. And so to watch that play out in the movie, it's like, dang, what if that happens in real life? And then we had like a small taste of it today. And granted, everybody's service wasn't affected. I'm with uh, Metro PCS, so I was good, but a lot of people were affected. And they're saying, you know, they're mainly making it seem like it was a cell phone issue. But from what I've been seeing on social media, it was a lot of things that were down outside of just cell phones. Like I said, um, internet, um, at certain people's jobs, everything was down. So I definitely feel like it was some type of test run, some type of warning. Um, you know, I don't want to go as far as to say like, oh, it was Russia or China or nothing like that. But I think like there's some things coming in the near future that they're trying to prepare people for. Remember a few months ago, we all got that um, emergency alert on our cell phones. They did like a nationwide alert. Do y'all remember getting that? Like I was here at home. But I remember a lot of people were like in the middle of class, they were in their office, some people were on their way to work, coming home from work, and everybody's cell phone went off at the same time. Do you guys remember that? Okay, and that was just a few months ago. So I'm just putting a lot of twos and twos. Okay, it was in October. Thank you, IJMT. It was just a few months ago. So we had to do, there was that national, you know what I'm saying, alert. And then today, you know, you have major networks down. And remember a year ago, because I remember I was in Atlanta when this went down. A year ago, who remembers when WhatsApp, Instagram, I believe Facebook, like the biggest social media sites just went offline. And a lot of people use WhatsApp to talk to people internationally. So that caused like a huge debacle. Like, and it wasn't for like an hour. So it was like literally the whole day. Do you guys put a teacup if you guys remember that? When everything just went, like, the top social media sites, including including WhatsApp, went off the grid. Yep, that was last summer. Because I was in Atlanta when that happened. Yeah. So it's a lot. It's a lot going on. It really is. Uh, RL sent $5 and said, I'm a pharmacy tech and most, if all of our insurances are down too. Haven't been able to fill any meds or bill insurance over a thousand and counting in fill. That is extremely scary. I didn't even realize the pharmacy people were affected. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're putting out these bland statements like, oh, everybody's cell phone service is up. Don't worry about it. But we got a pharmacy tech that's saying that they can't even get into their system. And as somebody who needs medication to live, that is very, very scary. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's definitely something happening. It, you know, it's bad enough we have a shortage on a lot of people's medications, but the fact that pharmacies cannot get in, that is very scary. So thank you for letting us know that. I appreciate you. Um, let's see here. Uh, Daniel Rainson5 says, I heard a few pharmaceuticals had issues too, side eye because of sickness. My godmom's church been talking about this event in C19 since 2020. So another person confirming as well that the pharmacies are going through it here. Um, 
Indie Goyo says, yup, CVS was down, long lines in my local store. Wow. Let me see if there's any news on the pharmacies being down. Because the only thing that they're talking about in the mainstream is um, the cell phones. Hmm. It's just saying that services are impacted, but I'm not seeing where it's bringing up like any videos concerning like the pharmacies. But let me Google. Okay. There's articles. There's no videos yet. So this article here. Oh, it was a cyber attack. Hold up. Let me share my screen. Hold on. They're saying the pharmacies were cyber attacked. Ooh. Okay, so let me put this up on the stage. Okay, so this article says massive AT&T outage, U.S. pharmacies affected by separate cyber attack. So they were attacked. This doesn't even have anything to do with the cellular service. I'm trying to see where it's talking about the pharmacies. Okay, cyber attack affected pharmacies across America. A separate equally disruptive out outage was caused by a cyber attack against Change Healthcare, one of America's largest healthcare technology firms. Um, the company handles orders and patient payments nationwide and, affect, and the attack affected the ability for pharmacies across the country who use the service to process patient orders. Change Healthcare is experiencing a network interruption related to a cybersecurity issue and our experts and our experts are working to address the matter. Once we become aware of the outside threat in the interest of protecting our partners and patients, we took immediate action to disconnect our systems to prevent further impact. Wow. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that to be a cyber attack, too. So something, child, stay prayed up. Something is definitely going on. Something is going on. Mmm. Wow. There's a lot of pharmacies, uh, pharmacy people, pharmacy technicians saying something. Mmm. That's scary, because like I said, you know... We've been talking about the, the pharmaceutical shortage over the past few months. Um, we've had whole discussions on that. Because, you know, a lot of people need medicine to, like, live. You know, asthma treatments and just, you know, all types of stuff. Insulin, things like that. So, the fact that they were attacked, one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies were attacked in the U.S., that's extremely disturbing. Very, very disturbing. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.